I'd like to say this Chinese proverb once again. Life begins the day when you start a garden. And somebody says, gardening adds to your life and life to your years. Good morning, guys. So we are here again in our some kind of permaculture gardening because we have eggplant there and the second bunch of our string bins they're about to finish uh, the season and so we have another bunch of string bins here uh, just started to produce flowers and some little fruit here And also that side, uh, in that trunk, there are other uh, several plants of string beans there as well. And this area used to be tomato field, but seems like I planted in a wrong way. So the tomatoes did not survive. So I added some hay and uh, this hay came from the grass that we cut and then we let them dry there. We let them dry there. And once they are dried, we put them back together with our vegetables like this one with our sweet potato. And on the side, we are also planting purple corn. Uh, we just applied the first application of fertilizers uh, yesterday morning. So, by the end of this month of April 2020, these purple corn uh, will be a lot bigger. I think by June, by the end of June, we'll be able to see some corn here. So probably that will be our schedule for harvesting some of them. So that's it. And also here, we have a sweet potato. Actually, the sweet potato here, they're just two months old. But it's really amazing because you can see that. Can you see that? It's not that clear in the camera, right? It's a big, it's a big, big, big sweet potato there. Just two months old. <laughs> it's amazing. This variety is really fast growing sweet potato so that's just a sample I think we can find another one here to really show you how good this variety is you you'll not have to wait for long months to have tubers develop beneath will take only two to three months and then good to go in harvesting them so I think here we have what's that we have yeah it's not clear I think um, we have to wait mama my mother will be coming here to visit us by the end of lockdown <laughs> we don't know when probably um, next three weeks or after a month maybe by month of may we don't know when it will be on the month of May, maybe first week, second week, third week, the lockdown will come to an end and then 
people can start traveling from other places. So Mama is living in Bangkok. So we'll have to wait. So when she comes, it's our time for harvesting these sweet potatoes. And I also attributed my passion in gardening because of her, my mother, and also my grandmother. They are the two ladies who are really, really good in gardening. I'm just trying to follow their footsteps bit by bit. So we have here um, bananas. I think we have around 22 or 23 plants. Some are still small, like five of them are still small. So like that, that far end there. There's another one behind that bush. And also look at that. Together with the tapuca or the cassava plants, and that far end, besides that palm tree, those are bananas and cassava. And also you can see here the spinach plants actually they're ready to be harvested and i initially harvest some of the seeds uh, that area there but i'm thinking of harvesting them all actually I, I cannot get all the seeds i cannot extract all the seeds from these twigs but i have already there maybe half kilo of spinach seeds ready to be planted for the next season but anyway I don't need to plant them since a lot of seeds are falling into the ground so uh, we have to wait them to grow up and then we will select the healthy ones to thrive and while the others we have to weed them out together with the grass because they are very invasive look at that Actually, I planted several different plants here and was overpowered by the spinach. And since we don't have much time to go to our friends in other places, so we're not able to eat all the leaves. Actually, we gave, we shared some of these spinach with our friends several times but since there are too many uh, i think i have to clean them up again this week and we'll plant another variety of vegetables here like maybe uh, broccoli cabbage and cauliflower in between with the corn plants so this is our first batch of sweet corn we just harvested two weeks ago and then there are a few corn ears that we let to get dry because i will use them as my seeds again to plant this area or maybe the other area because it's not good for any kind of vegetables when you repeat it twice on the same location you cannot expect good harvest by the second season so you have to keep changing when you plant corn here it should be another plant for the next season so that you can still maximize uh, the harvest of your planting so i think that's it for this morning um, a short tour to our garden so we have here raspberry um, we originally have one plant that my wife and i bought uh, during festival mm, uh, actually it's one year ago and i tried to reproduce this raspberry by air layering the canes or the branches after bending the branch or the cane you put that one inside a plastic 
with soil and then you have to tidy it up and you have to wait a month or a month and a half and then you'll be able to see the roots developing inside and once you can see the roots develop inside so you can cut the cane or the branch from the main plant and you're ready to transfer them to another part so like this one we have several raspberry plants already here I think it's not that clear because uh, they merge with the grass here I cannot put them together in a small place because you know, their canes and branches are coming across and it's really hard to separate them individually later on because of their thorns and as far as I can see as I'm searching online uh, you could hardly see them bear flowers and fruits when they are planted on pots so they have to be planted directly on the ground so that's my plan so we have five of these here actually they are from air layered branch or cane that i did last five months ago and look at now seven of them two here and then five there these are my these are all my profits anyway so I mentioned earlier that we only bought one plant, which is 350 baht per one plant. And you know what? It's just around 6 to 10 inches tall, that plant that we bought. It's not this big. When you want to have this big and buy this one during festival, maybe it's around 500 or so. Maybe 600 baht. Per plan. So I have a few friends here and they're interested and probably um, I have to sell them like just 300 per plant and it's bigger than the one that I bought originally last year. And also we have here strawberry. Actually these strawberry plants here they are from seeds. I never thought that they will actually grow because it was just a try. I plucked off the seeds from the fruit and that fruit was from the grocery store. And just an experiment. And then after three weeks, I was amazed because they appear from the ground. Oh, I think the, these are li little strawberries, but this is not the size actually. This is already around a month and two weeks already. Yeah. Close to two months anyway. And I tried. So after 25 days from the original pot, I transferred them here and they grow a little bit bigger than last month. And I keep applying them the warm tea to enhance growth I don't know my mixing of the soil with sand and chicken manure and other um, ingredients like eggshells if they are really effective but it's just kind of experiment anyway this is my first time planting strawberries and we also have here another location where we maximize the space of this old trunk of mango tree uh, we planted with several plants of string beans or long yard bean actually they start to develop flowers here and small fruit yeah several of this
field. So every morning, that's the routine of the Navy students. They're flying the airplane. Uh, maybe two weeks after, we'll be able to start harvesting here. So I use the leftover of the PVC that we use for the water pump, and I use them as our support, some kind of trellis. And then we tied some straw that connects from the PVC on top and then I tied them down here with the string bins plant directly and then that serves as our trellis and we have the PVC pipe up here as our support so we only have a limited space down here but the soil is quite fertile but we have wider space on top where they can spread out and produce more flowers and fruits so we have here our lemon tree look at that we have I think four fruits here we have two And then again this one on top and this big one here our lemon tree on a pot actually it's around three or four years old since our former house and these are another variety of lemons uh, we call this one in Philippines locally lemoncito yeah we have several fruits of these in one plant look it's good to have your own plant have your own garden yeah look at the fruits too many of them some are ready to be harvested and it's good for th this one good for salad like sweet potato salad and spinach this one is ready for harvest They're all planted in pots. They're mixed together with uh, different varieties of sweet potato here. Too many fruits here. Oh, I accidentally pluck off the other one. And the big ones here. Moringa trees, Malungay in our dialect in Philippines. They're also planted on a pot, like a two gallon pot. And here we have Pumin grenade. Ah, 
Good to see the flowers here. See that one? If this flowers develop, then we will be seeing a fruit two to three months to emerge from here. But this pomegranate plant attempted already for several times to bear flowers, but it didn't succeed. I don't know this time. There's another one. We have also here the Guyabano tree, Guyabano plant. They are all planted on pots. Actually, I air layered this one last September 2019 and transferred them from the main plant to their individual pots by October, a month after. And then October 2019, that was our last month of our rental agreement with our former house. And then I brought them here. Once this flower, I think uh, the fruit starts to form, hopefully this will succeed. What is that sound? Maybe a snake. Uh, I saw a few here. And uh, these are the four air-layered Guyabano plants that survive. Actually eight of them, but only four survive. And so far they're showing good through their leaves, texture, and you have to water them daily as well. And uh, yeah, I'm planning to have another series of or layering here and I'll have another video on that like showing a tutorial how to layer this what to feed your brain each day are the possible thoughts to form in your head and that becomes a concept or an idea when it is applied in reality and later on that becomes a principle or a practice or a habit when it is consistently used and this applies in any particular. And so with this, may the good thoughts be formed in our head every day to be better people in this chaotic world and to be better citizens of the country we represented of and be a better member of the family we belong. Wishing you all, my friends, Happy Garden.